Well, hello guys. I'm in the TTX today and I recently had the uh, latest software update installed. And I just wanted to show you what the G2000 panel looks like with the latest software. Some of the newer TTXs already have this, especially all the ones with the uh, Fiki option, but um, I was one serial number short of having this version, so it's really nice to have it. Um, it's like gaining a display. So as you can see, the PFD here is split two-thirds, one-third, um, with uh, the ability to uh, put whatever I want in the smaller display area there, which makes sense because the, the whole 12-inch screen for uh, the normal instruments was kind of overkill and there's plenty of room left for them but what's nice is and uh, everything's controlled through the keypad so uh, the first knob here if i turn it or push it left or right you can see a little green bar at the top of the screens and that tells you which one you're controlling so when you're um for instance i'm on the, the pfd secondary display there if I want to change that screen to like weather or something, which I'm in the hangar, so I'm not going to have much systems here, but uh, all I have to do is press something on my keypad here and it'll change the, uh, the screen that's selected. So if I want to put aircraft systems or something up there, like engine information, more detailed engine information than what I normally get, uh, I can do that. Uh, what I normally have up there, though, is just my normal display map. Uh, and there again, I'm in the hangar, so we're not getting much map position here. Now, the uh, that knob that I use to push left or right, I can also turn it for different zoom positions on each screen. So now let's go over to this other screen. And let's see what we can put up there. Well, let's go to the furthest one right now, which is normally the way I keep it. That is traffic. And there again, I can change the, the zoom on the traffic. Uh, and uh, now this screen, I normally put my Sirius XM weather up there, which displays on, on, on the uh, chart screen here. But uh, when I do it, I get a different orientation I like to have the uh, the north south orientation and uh, then I can zoom this screen out further to see where all the weather is and uh, without changing my uh, nav screen which normally has my flight path in purple on there and that's what the the autopilot is following now when I set up for an approach normally I come over and I pick the approach and at some point I can actually put charts up there. Right now it's just putting uh, the local uh, information for the airports on there. It has all that in there. But when I select an approach or an arrival procedure or a departure procedure, I can put the exact procedure up there. And that makes it nice. So um, there's a lot of information that can be displayed here. And it, uh, to me, it's one of the better setups. Uh, the G2000 is very, very similar to the G3000 and G5000. The G3000 you'll find in a lot of Citation jets. You'll find it in the Malibu. You'll find it in the uh, TBM. And really, the only difference between those is there's three displays. There's one in the middle, and then there's two pilot displays on each side, and each pilot the pilot and the first officer have uh, their own keypad so when you're in the ttx a little bit smaller cockpit so this fits perfect and it's perfect for single pilot operation um, i basically have everything that's, that's in those airplanes so um, it's a really nice setup the autopilot the altitude and barometer and all that stuff is is up top here which is nice and there's a lot of settings I can do for radio, for altitude, for heading, and all that stuff up top here where I don't have to look down at the key, keypad. And when you're 
you know, flying, you really don't want to look down too much. When I need more detailed information or need to do look up something or whatever, then I can look down at the keypad and do what I need. But uh, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what the update did. Um, if anybody has an older TTX and hasn't done the service bulletin, I would highly recommend it. Um, it's like gaining another display. And uh, I think it's well worth it to, to go ahead and get updated. There's a lot of little nuances that I'm still figuring out. Um, I've read through the service bulletin several times to see if it kind of gave me a hint as to what all they did change. And uh, I might just have to go through the manual real good and, and look. Because um, there's, I think what they put in the service bulletin is some of the bigger changes. But I've noticed, I, I also have another airplane that has a G3X Touch in it. And it's, it's, that is really a nice setup too. And I've noticed that in the update here, a lot of the things that are in the G3X, little, little novelty things are, are now in my displays. And uh, just a couple of them off the top of my head that I, I've noticed is uh, when I put a vertical descent selection in, let's say I'm at 9,000 feet, and they give me uh, a descent to 3,000. Uh, if I dial in 3,000, it, it, it'll show me a little curve line on the display of where I'm going to hit that 3,000-foot that 3, altitude. And that's really nice because then you can increase and decrease your vertical rate of descent to, to the side where you want to wind up at. Another little thing I've noticed, too, is that when you're in, on heading mode and you turn the heading... Uh, knob to select a different heading, it puts a little dash line uh, on the screen to show you exactly where you're pointing to. So more than just a, the heading degrees that you're changing, it's actually showing you on the map where that's going to take you. And then uh, when you quit turning the knob, that, that feature disappears and gets out of your way. And uh, that's exactly like it does on the G3X. So it's just those two things right there are very nice and uh, like i say i'm sure there's a lot more that it does i haven't really uh, flown it a lot since i've had the update and so as i uh, find new things i'll let you know about it any questions please put them down in the comments and uh, if you want to be updated when i put something out there um, just hit the bell go ahead and subscribe um, I'm headed to Spain tomorrow for a few weeks, and I'm going to investigate uh, what it takes to fly over in Spain. I think I know, but uh, I'm going to try to get up with some Spanish organizations in, in Malaga area and see if uh, they can point me in the right direction. And if anybody is watching this and has any information, I appreciate a comment.